Hi, I'm David Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you everything about SoundQ in Unreal Engine 5. So, without any further ado, let's begin. We have this project, right? So, let's just go to Content Drawer, in a starter content, in audio. Let's just create a new SoundQ. You can see there are some in here, but I want to create our own. And in here, go to Sound and SoundQ in here. Just create that. And in here, I want to call it SC for SoundQ example for example <laughs> so double click on it and in here right now there is nothing attached to this output node so whatever you put in this output node it will be played okay and there are some nodes in here that we can use and we can right click and in here access those nodes okay so first of all first node that i want to show you is wave player okay so this wave player in here when we click on it we can select one of the wave files okay so for example explosion one and if we connect it to our output node it will just run it okay and if you don't want to run it automatically just hit a, a stop in here and if you want to play this note click on this play note and if you want to play the queue in here click on this play queue in here okay so now we know all about wave player and it does have looping option as well so if you click on it and play queue you can see it play it in loop right so let's just stop the looping stop in here and let's just right click and break this note and the next thing that i'm going to show you is this looping so let's just put it here this looping what this looping does let's just show you with this looping we can tell this sound cue to play this sound uh, for example if you click in here three three times okay and it will play this three times so let's just play the cue one two and three you can see it's just playing this sound three times and if you select this loop indefinitely it will play it infinite number of time okay so that was for looping next one is this delay okay if you click on it it will add a delay before playing this sound so let's just connect it and we can specify a minimum delay and maximum delay so each time that this is playing it will randomly select a delay between delay minimum and delay maximum and after that it will play the sound so for example after one second in minimum and three second maximum it should play our sound so if play what cue you can see it's after one second play it and again if we click on this play cue next time it may play this sound after two seconds or three seconds and it will be randomized and that was all for delay in sound cue next one that i want to talk about is this modular and what this modular do it always randomly select a pitch between this pitch minimum and pitch maximum and volume, volume minimum and volume maximum and play our sound okay and it will make a difference it will change the volume and pitch and it looks like multiple sound is playing okay with just one sound so let's just play it this time it, it look like this and and if we change this pitch max to something like 10 from 1 to 10 and in here volume from 1 to 10 again and it will select something between this minimum maximum and it will play it for us and you can see you know the pitch is at the maximum and i hope you can hear it correctly it's playing on my speaker and it play on my system as well i hope you get the idea how it works and that was for modular and the oscillator in here it's like modular as well first we can decide if it should be modulate volume or it should modulate pitch and in here there is a lot of option and with this amplitude mean and max you can every time randomly this oscillator will select a amplitude between minimum and maximum frequent frequency minimum and maximum select offset minimum and maximum and the center of the waveform for you with this minimum and maximum that we have here with these options let's say we have um bird sound and we want to have multiple bird sound with just one sound we can do it in here and every time that the bird is playing it will be different okay next one is this random and what this random is doing it has some input and it has a output right let's just connect it and add another wave player in here let's just connect these two and select a explosion two for example in here and connect this to another pin of this if we click on this random it will randomly select one of this explosion and it will play it for us and in the options in here we can change the weight of each wave player in here so explosion one if i wanted the chance of playing index one that is this explosion one increase we can change this so at the most time it will play it will play the uh, explosion one because we change the uh, the weight of the index one that is this explosion one and if you put it on one they have 50 percent chance to be played okay so play 
and you can see right now it playing this and if we click on this again it will randomly select other one okay the next option is this pre-selected at level load let's say for example you have 10 explosions sound in here and you want to first pick five of them and randomly select between them and you can select it from here you put five, five in here and add for example 10 sound in here sound wave player in here and with this add pin we can uh, add more pin in here for example 10 pin and you can tell this random node to select five of them and randomly play them next option is this randomized without replacement so what it does it will play whatever that is not played till now right so if we uncheck this it may this explosion one happen three times after this explosion happened but if you check this it will play all of the explosion in random and it makes sure that all of them has been played once okay so this was for random the next one that i want to talk about is this mixture mixer okay and with that we can mix two sound together and we have we can have more input pin we just clicking in here but i don't want that so let's just delete, delete this input if you select click on this mixer you can see there are some options in here and in here we can decide which wave player in here should have more volume to it so for example if i wanted this explosion one to have more volume to it than this explosion two we can change the values in here so let's just delete this and the next important thing that i want to show you is this branch and with this branch if you click on it you can create a variable in here let's just call it is explosion one okay so for example if it's explosion one if it's true play this explosion one but if it's not true play this explosion two and if this is not set just uh, just play whatever that is connected to this parameter on set okay and there is another another node like this branch let me show you it's switch case okay so let me find that in here switch okay and we can switch between any input that we want we can add input to it and we can connect these wave player to this input and in here we can create a variable let's just call it which gun okay and for example you have 10 gun and each gun have different sound and we can use this switch and this int parameter name in here we use it to play a sound for that gun so let's just test it out so for example let's just put this tab in here and in here in our player let's just add this sc example to our to our scene in here and with that i'm selecting it let's just go to open level blueprint and what i'm gonna do i, I want to create a reference to that okay and what i'm gonna do now i want to say set integer parameter okay and with this set, set integer parameter we can change the value of this which gun okay which gun value parameter that we create in this switch case in here so the important thing in here we should copy the name that we put in here and paste it in the name of this in here okay which gun we want to set this so for example whenever left mouse button clicked okay we want to have a sound right so we have it like this but for changing this int let's have a for example the key one in here okay whenever the key one is pressed i want to have a sound and whenever key two is pressed i, I want to have another sound okay and let's just create a variable in here of type of integer because we want to set an integer in here and i want to call it gun type or whatever okay and i want to get this gun type and connect it to here and no whenever we click on one in our keyboard we want to set gun type okay and we want to set it with zero for example okay and whenever we click on these two we say set gun type and in here we want to have one okay so we set it to the one and know that we set the gun type we can play the sound so how we can do that we can say play okay and with this play it says what do you want to play i want to play this sc example so let's just connect this to here like this it's not beautiful right now but let's just add a break node in here and like this i think it's better right it's better no right so a start time zero and it should play our sound so let's just compile and run our game whenever we click it will play our explosion sound whenever we left click it will play our explosion sound and if we hit two on our keyboard it will it will play another explosion sound and you can see two is like this and one is like this this is one and this is two it's a little bit different so uh for example let's just go to sc example and change this explosion to something else so you can uh, hear it correctly so which one this collapse two let's just test it out to see if it's cool or not save and no compile again run to see if it's working or not if this is one and hit two and you can see this is two 
this is one and if you hit two again luckily you can see you can see that it play another audio and that was it for this video guys hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you at the end of this video thank you very much for watching bye